Hello everybody. We're uh, bringing to you today the uh, a demonstration on the Durand. It is uh, a type of opener for uh, particularly older wines um, and we just wanted to demonstrate how it works. We'll just open it up there. So as you see uh, it comes complete with instructions inside on exactly how to use it. it comes in this attractive uh, cork box which when you open it there it is there, so we'll pop it out, and it, as I say, it comes in two parts. We have the central spiral, which is more like a traditional corkscrew, uh, which goes in, and then one of these more familiar uh, two-pronged cork removers, sometimes known as a uh, the butler's thief, because they could take the cork out and put it back in again. Um, we're going to demonstrate this with this bottle of wine here, 1955 Le Bon Pasteur, which should be magnificent. Sadly, um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's got quite a low level. And if we just look at the edge there, you can see that the capsule uh, is corroded. And in fact, it's been, it's been leaking. So potentially, um, the wine sadly isn't going to be very good. But it's, the cork is definitely going to be... Uh, in a poor state which makes it ideal for demonstrating. So we'll start by carefully cutting the capsule which as I say um, is quite corroded so actually it doesn't want to come off Okay. Yeah, and there's a lot of mould here at the top of the bottle, um, which is just going to give it a scrape off. There we go. So, as I say, starting with the spiral, get it right in the centre. And in it goes, really like a traditional corkscrew. And you go down with it as far down till the metal bar rests at the top of the bottle. Or if the cork was raised till such time as it hits that cork. So that's it now secure, and what that does is strengthen the cork and stop it from splitting in two. We now, with the long end first, go in at the side. If we can get it in, that is. Doesn't want to go in. And then rock gently from side to side until it's down on the bar. Now, now it's secure, we can start to pull carefully, twisting all the time, nice and slowly, and hopefully remove the cork in one piece. It's coming, and if it's particularly fragile, you could just keep your hands on the bottom of it. There we go. And as you can see, it's a very, very damaged um, and knackered cork. So we're just going to give the bottle a quick clean. So we'll give this a wee decant and see, although as I say, given the conditions, I'm not expecting it to be uh, particularly fine, which is a real shame because, as I say, it's a 1955 Le Bon Pasteur, which should uh, be a really great wine. Colour doesn't look too bad. Let's see if we get it removed from all its sediment. Okay. Let's give it a. Yeah, definitely. Has that smell of 
being slightly madderized, but we'll give it a go. And as you can see, it's pretty brown in color. Swirl it around. Yeah, it's definitely, unfortunately, past its best. Has a little something in it, um, probably a better a better level, um, and actually this would have been a decent wine. Anyway, thanks very much, everybody. And that is, as I say, the Durand. It's a pretty uh, chunky price, but actually um, it, it is worth its weight in gold. Thank you.